Well, physical education no longer needs to be in the gym at one local school district. The South Middleton School District is now requiring seniors to complete the course online instead of holding in person classes. And officials say students seem to be responding positively to that change. We had students who really had positive feedback because they were able to engage in more time in a physical activity that they wouldn't in a traditional PE course. Seniors at South Middleton School District now have the opportunity to fulfill their gym requirement by participating in a broad range of activities like mountain biking, snowboarding, and skiing just to name a few. And then I also had students who um, reported a lot of positive results because they really grew their confidence in the ability to exercise on their own. Um, sometimes people are hesitant to exercise in front of their peers in a traditional PE course. One reason the district considered online PE courses was to prevent crowding and to create more space at the high school. Uh, this online opportunity obviously allows for 70, 80, maybe 100 students someday. Uh, to be able to, to do phys ed outside our building. So here's how it works. The class is made up of two components, a lesson component full of quizzes and slideshows, and then there's a physical activity requirement where students monitor and record their exercises on a watch. So over the course of the semester, they could say, look how much my heart rate improved, look how many more calories I'm burning, look at how much I increased my pace. But the freedom of choosing your own physical activity comes with the responsibility of discipline, motivation, and prioritization, McCarney says, which in the long run will help students balance work life and fitness in the real world. You can't dismiss the benefits uh, that are also there, helping them to have that uh, life skill. Uh, many of them actually have joined local gyms where they can go and exercise and they've gotten themselves into a routine uh, that hopefully is something that they'll take with them after they graduate. McCarty tells me right now the high school is operating under a pilot program, but says the district is looking to make things permanent next school year.